Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some techniques and some advice on how to be a better Apex player. I've already talked about aiming, I've already talked about sensitivities and the settings and whatnot, but I've never talked about this. Now, this is the most complex, and this is really hard to explain, to be honest with you, because everything is situational. Everything is always different, so it's going to be really unstructured, but... I hope that you understand the basis of what I'm trying to say and you learn something from this video. So first and foremost, aiming, I've already spoke about. That is very important, but arguably the least important as far as game sense, game awareness, movement and stuff like that goes, right? Like we're talking av like overall skill of a player. So when I'm talking about movement, what I'm talking about is character model. So throughout this entire video, rather than paying attention to the aiming and whatnot, what I want you to watch is my character model. And I know it's really difficult to do because we're not in third person, we're in first person. But I need you to try to pay attention to how I'm moving and how the enemy is moving as well. So one of the biggest downfalls for newer players or uh, just, you know, your average player is that they walk in straight lines. They don't move around. Now this clip right here is a perfect example of the movement that I'm talking about. Pay attention one more time to how I'm moving. You can see how I'm going left and right. I'm sprinting, I'm turning, I'm doing this 90 degree turn and sprinting in that direction. I'm being unpredictable. It's very, very, very important to understand is that I'm being unpredictable. I'm gonna give you guys a quick hypothetical here. So for example, we're gonna take myself. I'm good at aiming. There's no doubt about it. I'm good at aiming and I think I can keep up with the best of them as far as accuracy and aiming goes. But there are others that can aim just as good as I can. Now, let's say we have myself and a player of equal skill level in terms of aiming. Okay, we have me and this other guy and we're fighting each other. The person that's going to win that fight is the most unpredictable one. It's the one that outwits the other. It's the one that outplays the other. It's got nothing to do with aim at that point because we're both equally skilled as far as aiming goes. The player that is smarter than the other is the one that is going to win that fight, okay? I'm going to use this clip as an example of that. So you can see that I took the balloon, I hopped on the high ground, and I'm shooting this first guy, right? This first guy is irrelevant. What I want you to pay attention to is the second guy. You can see the Pathfinder hop on the zip line and going towards the mountain. Now, I'm playing Octane, so I'm able to do this. Like I said, everything is situational, so it's hard to, uh, it's hard to give exact explanations, but... The point is to be unpredictable. The Pathfinder does not expect me to be up here. He has no idea. So I, I get up here, I catch him completely off guard. Uh, he was not expecting me to be up there. And that's what separates a very good player and the best. You can be the best at aiming, it doesn't matter. But if you can't outplay and maneuver around the map and use your abilities, then how, what good is your aim, you know what I mean? So we're gonna use it, another example here. Do you see that little left jerk that I did? Rather than just strafing left and right, what I did was I turned 90 degrees and I sprinted in that direction. I'm sure I'll do it again in this clip. I do it quite often. You'll see it throughout my videos too. I do it very, very, very frequently. So what I'm doing is I'm moving left and right. I'm using the trees cover. I'm trying to be unpredictable in the way that I'm moving. The reason that I was able to kill both of those people was because they were standing in a straight line. They were, they were standing still or walking in a straight line and they made it very, very, very easy. So you can see here, I'll play it one more time. You can see that Quick little left jerk, right? Now I know he's reloading and he's running away. I'm going to finish him off. Same thing with the second guy. He's trying to get a couple shots on me, right? I, I damage him a little bit. He did hit me there, which is, you know, props to that guy. But right here, I hold my ground because I know he starts to run away and I just finish him off and it was very easy. I can understand how it might be difficult to understand the movement thing because you're not seeing my character model in third person. You're only seeing it in first person. So I'm going to play this clip in slow-mo just so you can see. He starts shooting me while I'm reloading. There's not much I can do. So I move, physically move in the direction that I wanna go and I sprint. Rather than just touching my left stick to the left or to the right, I spin my right stick 90 degrees and I sprint in that direction. It's like a big strafe. Think about it that way. That's what you wanna do. And the more you do it, the more second nature it becomes. You don't even think about it when it's happening in gunfights. You don't even think about it. It just kinda happens. You just start doing it naturally, and that's where you need to get to. If you want to be a really good player, you need to get to that situation. So I think that's enough with the mobility. I think you guys understand it. Move left and right. Be unpredictable. Now, I want to talk about this real quick because I find this happens so many times in my games. It's ridiculous. So you can see on the top right, there's three teams left. We are the only team that's not in this fight. We heard the fight happening, so we instantly hopped on a balloon and tried to third party this fight, okay? So you want to place yourself in a position that you're not going to be taking damage from the two teams. You want to be the team that is deciding who you're, who you're going to be third partying, okay? Think about the letter V. 
That's what you want to think of. You want to think of the letter V. The one single point on the V, the point of the V, is the point that you're trying to do damage to. That's who you're targeting. The other two points are the third party teams, okay? So you want to be on one of the two sides. You don't want to be the tip of the V. Always think about that when you're in a fight. You always want to be the person that's deciding who the third partying is going to happen to. It's the easiest way to win fights. I can't, I, I, it's happened so many times, countless times, where me, our team, and the last, second last team are fighting each other, and then there's just one random team left, and they're just hiding, waiting. And it doesn't make any sense. You always want to try to get into that last fight. It's so much easier to try to target somebody when the fight's already happening, there's so much going on. That's when it's easiest to settle the deal and win the game, you know? And that, ha that goes throughout the middle of the game too. If you hear a fight happening, get in there, man. Try to, try to third party it. It's the easiest way to get kills. It's the easiest way to win the games. Get used to it. But you gotta be smart about it. Because if you do it in the wrong way, then you could end up being the team that gets targeted and it can go sour real quick. So now that I've said all that, I'm going to play out the rest of this game because it takes everything that I've just said into account into the end of this game. It was really good. Normally we don't play tactically or anything like that or play for wins. We just play for kills and have fun. But the ending of this game is it's too good to, uh, to pass up on. So I'll show you guys. I hope you guys learned something. And I will see you on the next video. Big grenade, bro. Big grenade. One down. I got another one. Down that one. Enemy down. Go to the Head to the Someone's aiming at me. I think it's a different team. Not sure. Uh, behind you. Melted, bro. Oh, it is a different team. It is a different team. Leave, leave, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Uh, four grenades. Throwing pain down. I'm gonna get on a different side. I got a bloodhound on me. Should be able to kill him, I think. Another one up here on me. Oh shit, I got, I got low. I got him both. Okay, these last guys are on me. Okay. Two of them are chasing me. Uh, th there's a third coming up late. There's a third coming up late. I'm popping a uh, Phoenix. I'll be one second, man. If you come towards me, I can bait them, or I can, uh, you can bait them to me and I can beam them on their way in. They're not chasing me no more. Okay. Should be around here, though. Yeah, they were. No, on me. Directly underneath Coming. you. This side of the fence. Enemy real close. About time we got ourselves a fight. Watch this, watch this street. Inside the house, I'm beaming him. Rock close, close. close to you, rock close to you, lit. Rock close to you, lit. Got him? Oh my god, that angler just beat me, bro. Reloading. I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna take it slow. Yeah, me too. That's fine, just running. Uh, did, you, did you knock the angler? I've only got 50 bullets. No, I knocked one really close. Uh, so looks like one's trying to flank us. I'm I think one's right pushing. Now. I think one's pushing. He's, he's, he's at the rock. Yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna be on the right side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm hitting the Phoenix. I didn't kill the bangle. Uh, the. Okay, uh, so the Pathfinder's still on the right on the rock. I'm pretty sure the Bangalore's still in the in the house. How much light ammo do you have? I have none. I don't. I have two ARs. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go hit a. Oh, oh it's, it's a. It's a bloodhound. Did they get the rest? Item. Dude, they got the rest. 150. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, I know. I was throwing grenades. I, I didn't get them, I said. There's light rounds there. Okay, I'm coming. They're all together. The Pathfinder's a little bit behind them. Bangalore ran, shut the rock. That shot her. Pathfinder, I don't know where he's at. I don't see him at all. He's, like, he's not even shooting at me. I have to back up a little bit. They're, they're trying to shit. Yeah, they're trying to work us. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a Pathfinder up here. Pathfinder up here. He's yeah, by himself. See? He's trying. He's trying to work us. He has gold. I hit him three times. You going in skull? I think so. Yeah. 
We can outplay him in here. I have a portal still too. So. Found more light ammo. Nice. Yeah, it's better. I think it's better to fight in here. Because they just want a long fight. They won't push us. It's like we're the man. Yeah, we're we're the ones that are man down. You know. Yeah, I wish I'm we would have been able to get that I'm first. Gonna go find some. They're uh, they're right here. See someone out there. <laughs> this is an intense little game. <laughs> Jesus. So they're making it like this. I know. Oh. I wish it would have just pushed us, but I have some more shields. Nice. Dude, I got uh, I got quite a few shields now. I got four four Bait batteries and eight shells. Oh my god, yo, rip the ninety. No shield on the on the blood arm. Okay, one shot, one shot. I got him. Got him. Got nice, him. dude. I'm gonna push. We're not okay, playing this long I'm game anymore. Go. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. She threw the pain too. I don't she care. Threw I'm the pain. That's fine. Just lit, <sighs> lit. Almost no shield. I'm hitting a battery. Okay. Well, on again. Yeah, he's done. The one's above you, one's above you. I hit her for 100, I hit her for 100. No shield, no shield. Uh, she's got 40 health, 40 health, bro. She's running, I'm chasing her. Got her. Nice, the last one's on me. I'm coming here. I can't tell if he's above or below. I think he might be above. Uh, no, he's uh, in the it's middle rising. somewhere. He must be resin the uh, no, 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 bloodhound. No, no, never mind. No, I killed the bloodhound. Oh, found him. Coming in. Got him, boy. That's what y'all was, son. Nice huh? job, man. Huh? Bro, it's Jeez. moment. It's like playing like that is so sick. We never play like actually tactically and like move here, go there. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was actually yeah, kind of yeah. dope. <laughs> Kinda gets me excited oh. for like maybe a competitive mode or something like that in this game. Yeah, hell yeah. That was lit. Two thousand damage, oh man. That was a fun game.